Hi again, happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, we made it to spring break, which is exciting. And hopefully next week you'll be able to find enough things to do to keep you busy, but more important, just to kind of recharge. And you got, you all worked so hard this week and, and the three weeks that we've now had at home learning. So uh, good job for you guys, uh, proud of you. And, uh, and thank you to the parents for uh, helping guide the, the students along as they uh, go on this uncharted territory that we've been in. This will be uh, our last read aloud for this week. Uh, the plan is to still have some pop out next week, even though we're on break, just to take a couple minutes each day and, and to give you guys something to look at. Um, but we're gonna do a story today, and Taylor's with me. Keep switching up the kids here. And it's called, Don't Wake the Bear. Here we go. It was spring party day, the best day of the year. So why were the animals trembling with fear? They'd heard growling noises and crept up to see a huge bear asleep in the old hollow tree. Oh no, they all cried, but our party's today. How can we get ready with him in the way? I'll wake him up, cried a little brown hare. No, no, they all whispered, please don't wake the bear. Bears, Badger said, are enormous and hairy. If you wake them up, they get angry and scary. We'll still have our party, though, if we take care. Be quiet as mice, so we don't wake the bear. So they tippy-toed off without making a peep to get party things while the bear was asleep. And the ants carried wibbling, wobbling stacks of dishes and saucers and cups on their backs. Badger brought in a huge, yummy dessert. Then he tripped and it fell with a splat in the dirt. The bear stretched and grumbled, which gave them a scare. Shh, they all whispered. Please, don't wake the bear. The lanterns were carefully hung in the trees. The mice tied up ribbons that danced on the breeze. They brought in the very last blueberry tart, and their party was now almost ready to start. Then Hare cried, there's only one thing left to do. And he grabbed a balloon, and he blew and he blew. And he blew and he blew, till the others cried, stop! If it gets any bigger, it's going to pop. The bear stretched and groaned, and they all held their breath. Then his eyes flickered open and scared them to death. Run, run and hide, they all cried in despair. Now we're in trouble. We've woken the bear. Who dares wake me up, growled the bear angrily. Hare said in a small shaky voice, it was me. Our party is going to start very soon. I was trying to help, but I popped my balloon. A party? cried Bear with a grin. Could it be a big surprise party, especially for me? Oh, thank you for waking me up, little bunny. I'll come to your party and I'll bring you some honey. honey. And even though Bear was enormous and hairy, they found he was great fun and not a bit scary. He danced and he partied with everyone there. And they all cheered, hooray, for our new friend, the Bear. And that is the end of this week's Read Alouds. Taylor, thank you. I hope you guys uh, have a great break. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, miss you guys, hope to see you soon. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, Miguel.